Hello guys, welcome back to another library video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new Navigate feature introduced in Library 3. This was requested by one of our viewers on the previous episode. I'll have the link in the description if you guys want to watch that where we build a search bar using Livewire. So this new Navigate feature allows us to basically change pages on our application without reloading the page. So basically in simple terms, it allows us to build a single page application. And if you actually look at the demo, as I'm changing the pages, we are not actually reloading it. There's actually a progress bar, the blue progress bar. Let me make it a slow 3G. There's a blue progress bar added by Livewire. There's one at the top and there is one at the top right. So all of this is done in the background by Livewire. And it is smart enough to not load your CSS and JavaScript files, which are shared between the pages you're basically moving between. So all of my pages have the exact same CSS and JavaScript. So Livewire is smart enough and it's no longer loading them. If you guys look at the network request, it did load the bundle.js. In this case, sometimes it does that. But when I go and contact us, as you can see, it only loaded the icon and the HTML of that page. Okay, so in practice, it makes your pages load a little bit faster. And also just it's a better, better user experience for the user. So let's go and see how we can actually build this ourselves. Okay guys, so for the code of this project, I have a very uh, simple application with three different routes. I have a home profile and contact us route. Uh, you can have basically return a view or return it from your controller or have a full page component, library component. All of those will work. I have tested them out. They work just fine. And just to show you what my blade files look like, they are a simple bootstrap boilerplate. I'm using Bootswatch for the styling. And I'm including this navigation bar, which is basically our top navigation. And all the pages are exactly identical, except for the page title and this H1 tag that I have. Okay, this header tag. Everything else is exactly identical. CSS, JavaScript, all the same. So I'll open up our navigation. And this navigation file, we have basically three links. Uh, you can ignore all the other stuff that we have. So we have three links. And in order to make these links work without basically change the page without reloading it all you have to do is basically add wire navigate to all your links and i was about to write wire animate so wire navigate just like that and that's all you have to do really that's all you need to do super easy to do so i'll reload the page and let's test it out and see if it works so i'll go from home page to profile and you can see the progress bar again. And if you look at the network, we are only making one request, which is returning the HTML. And Livewire is only taking the body and replacing it with the body we already have. So which is very, very nice. I'll go to contact us. As you can see, it is working. And for now, I'll just remove them quickly just to see how it looks without the wire navigate. All right. And I'll make it fast 3g so i'll go to profile and as you can see guys the page is indeed reloading so the wire navigate does work i'll return back to it so that's it it's actually that simple now i do want to cover one more thing so in some cases for example you may have an interactive element such as our search box here so uh, for example i search john where you want this element to be to not be refreshed when you change pages okay so here i have made a search for john Whenever I go from the home page to the profile page, I'll lose my search results. So how do we keep those search results the same when we change pages? Uh, Lover actually has a way to do that. You can go on your blade and use the directive persist on the HTML you want to keep the same. So here I, I want to keep this live wire search bar and I'll, you need to basically wrap it around persist and end persist. I'm just making sure I don't have a typo. And whatever is between these tags is going to be, won't be refreshed when you change pages. And you do need to give it a name and you need the name to be the same between all the pages. So I'll give it search bar. Okay. Now let's go ahead and test it out and see if it works or not. So I'll type in John again. Uh, we get our search results and then I'll go to homepage. And you can see our search results actually stays here. So you might have a large table and users have done some kind of work. It actually stays there. So when you change pages, boom. 
So this is very nice and I think it will have a lot of use cases in the documentation. They mentioned maybe you have a music player or something like that. That's also a very good use case. Now, for the most part, this should work very well if you have a simple application. However, if you have inline JavaScripts or you have you're doing some kind of some sort of custom JavaScripts, you may face some issues and your pages may not work. In those cases, you may have to actually go and read the documentation on script evaluation and just kind of read all these potential issues you may face and hopefully they can fix solve your uh, problems for me i have tested it on a few different pages and it worked just fine i did have one issue on one of my websites and it was actually because i had inline scripts so you have to go and see what you can do to actually fix those issues but for the most part for simple use cases i think it works just easily out the box so it is still on the beta version, so we have to wait till the stable version comes out. But for now, I'm very impressed with what the library team have done. Obviously, kudos to them. It looks like magic. It's fantastic. So go try out, guys, and let me know if you have just as much fun as I have uh, trying it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And let me know if you want to learn something else. Have a great day. Bye.